This month's tooltip will cover advanced applique. This tool offers many possibilities. We'll only cover a few, but hopefully you'll have a better idea of when to use the advanced applique tool. You'll see in the design we're looking at, there's quite a bit of fill stitching. If I wanted to replace this with applique, that would be the tool to use. It will let me apply applique to any area that's enclosed by lines. Let's get started by working on just a single flower. I can just go ahead and delete any fill that I see and all I need to do is select the petal areas and go into my advanced applique. I can then add fabric of my choice from any of those that I find in the menu and I just click inside the highlighted area. If you're looking at the color film, you'll see as soon as I select that space, all of my stitch work is applied for that space. As soon as I've gone all the way around, I now have some more options. Select the back and now I can actually merge all of these together into one continuous applique piece. And now I'm going to finish up adding the last piece and now we have one continuous applique from all of the smaller pieces. I have the ability to set any stitch types and make changes by selecting the applique and I can choose to have placement lines, cutting lines, select a tack down, running, or change my stitch lengths. All that I need to do to complete the design is copy and paste three more of the flowers. I can change the fabric. You can also import your own fabrics and this tool gives me the opportunity to create applique from objects which have patterned running stitches. The design is now completed with a much lighter weight.